In this video, I'll walk you through the process of increasing the maximum upload file size of all-in-one WP Migration plugin to just about any value you wish. To get started, it's important we know that there are contingencies put in place by the developers for the updated versions of this plugin, making it hard to increase these values without paying for the $69 extension. So, how can we remove this limit when we don't exactly have this much to support the said project? Let's head back to our site's dashboard, and I'd need you to install an earlier version of this plugin that allows us to adjust the max upload file size values. The only problem is that this version is no longer available within the WordPress plugin repository, so I've helped source a malware-free version of this plugin, which you can find linked in the description. So all you have to do is download it, head back to your site to upload it, and lastly, downgrade the installed version to that of 6.77. Once we have that installed, Let's move on to select the Plugin File Editor. Depending on the WordPress version installed on your site, you can also find this option under the Tools section. If you are having trouble finding the Plugin File Editor anywhere within your site's dashboard, just head over to Themes, add a new theme, and try installing one of these default themes to enable the Plugin File Editor. Let's head over to the top right corner and choose All-in-One WP Migration from the drop-down list of plugins. Then, click Select next to it. You can tell you have the right plugin selected when you find this text highlighting that we are now editing all-in-one WP migration. Now let's shift our focus to the right, and from these options, click on constants.php. Once you have that selected, let's shift our focus to the plugin's file editor, and we need to scroll down to line 282. Here we should find the text Max File Size, and underneath, the line of code that defines the file size values. Now we just need to increase the value 28 to just about anything. So let's say I wanted to go for 40, and then scroll down to update the file. Heading back to refresh this page would instantly give us a jump from 512 megabytes to 2 terabytes. Please note that you should either update or remove the outdated version from your site the moment you are done with it to avoid potential security risks or compromised website functionality. Let me know if this worked for you in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.